All right, so I removed that merge layer we just made. So now we just have the two files, file one, file two. So now we're gonna create a merge one outside of QDIS. So I'm actually gonna close it, totally close out of it, minimize this. And on my desktop here, I have this OSGO4W shell. This will come installed by default and most likely it'll be placed on your uh, desktop. If not, it's gonna be in here somewhere. You'll be able to find it easily. And what this is, it's kind of how how you can access that GDAL slash OGR engine, how you can use those functions. Um, so it says run O minus help for a list. So let's just do that. O, o minus help. Now this is all of the crap that you have access to. Look at all this stuff. This is all free. Um, it's pretty powerful. All these functions and there's documentation on all of this, all the syntax for how you would use this stuff is online. So GDAL merge, for example, that is a raster function for merging rasters. Um, so again, I, I think I mentioned in the other video, the GDAL stuff is for raster, the OGR stuff is for vector. Um, so this is just a list of everything you can do. And if you want more info, you can just type it in and there's a way to see more info about it. I think if we just typed in like OGR to OGR. So that's one of these functions in here, OGR to OGR. This is for vec converting vectors. It's for making vectors out of vectors. Um, so OGR to OGR. Here we have a lot of in information about it. So usage. Um, so some of this stuff kind of looks archaic and it can be confusing at first. Um, when I started learning this stuff not too, uh, not too long ago, I only picked this stuff up in the last few months. Um, I had to kind of even learn the command prompt and how to use uh, stuff like that. But what you can do is there's this website that I found. I have it saved here. It's this GDAL cheat sheet. So I had it saved, but to access it, you can probably just Google GDAL OGR cheat sheet. And uh, here we go. It's the first one. And um, why learn all this stuff when you can just use these cheat sheets? So as you can see, it's split up into vector operations and there's all these vector commands. And then down here, there's raster operations. Um, so we were trying to, so what we're trying to achieve right now is merging those two layers. Um, actually, before I go any further, just so you get a, a better understanding of this, I'm gonna show you where this is actually saved on your C drive. So remember we downloaded this and if you go to bin, this is where like all those functions are. Some of them are executable, some of them are Python scripts. So OGR to OGR for example is the one we're going to use. That's It's an executable file down here, OGR to OGR. So when we say, when we use this shell, we all we have to say is OGR to OGR it knows what it's talking about. If we were to use the command prompt, just the command prompt, and type in OGR to OGR, it wouldn't know what you're talking about. But since we're in this shell, it knows what you're talking about. Um, so we can just say OGR to OGR. Um, and that's what we're gonna do. In this shell, we're gonna access all of these functions through this shell and just give it parameters, like what do you wanna merge, what do you want the name to be, and the other parameters but it's important, you need to know the syntax and that's where this cheat sheet comes in handy. Um, so all the simple functions are out there. Uh, um, you can just find online. So merge vector files, it's right here. And this is the syntax. So there's, it's saying there's two commands you're gonna have to say. So this first one, OGR to OGR, merged.shape and input one. So what this is saying is call OGR to OGR, give it what you want the output name to be. And I usually give it a hard-coded path to a name. And what I mean by that is we're gonna go to, here's where those files are saved, the ones we wanna merge, so file one and file two. I'm just going to copy this path. You can, actually you can just drag in this little folder icon to get this path. Just drag it in here. And then backslash, and I'm going to call this merged dot shape space. Uh, let's go back to that cheat sheet. 
input one. So that's going to be our file one shape file. File one shape. And these are all separated by space. And now we're going to hit enter. All right. So now we've taken care of, and you'll notice it created this merged shape file right here, but it's, it's, it has just created this with, so basically what this is, if you were to pull this into QGIS, it would be just file one. So we've basically copied file one and put it in something called merged. That's all that first command did. Now we're going to say OGR to OGR space, go back to the cheat sheet. And all right, so this kind of makes sense. We're going to update and append the merge state file with input two. And this, I don't really know what this does. I looked it up and it says it can be an alternate name, like an alternate layer name, but I tried not even using this and it still worked how I expected it. So I'm just going to, I'm going to use it because it's in here, but um, we'll worry about that later. So let's minimize this. So OGR to OGR dash update dash append. What do we want to append? We want to append the merged shape. So we can go here, drag this in, space, let's go back to this, input two, that's file two. So what's the second thing you want to merge this? Drag it in, space, and now that NLN dash, dash, all right, dash NLN merged. All right, so with this one, hit enter, it should do what we want it to. So click enter. Bam, already finished. So if we go back to our folder structure, you can see it was just updated, 10.01 a.m. You see the DBF file. So that's what houses the uh, like the attribute table information and the geometries and the shape file. These two were just updated at 10.01, or these three were. This one was from the first time we made it. That's just the projection data, so that didn't change. Um, so now let's go to QGIS and check out what we did. All right, merge shape, just drag it in, and there we go. So that's another way of using open source geospatial software to merge uh, to merge files. So you could use it in QGIS, or you can use GDAW. Um, how long is this video? Seven minutes. All right, I'm going to cut it off there, and we can pick it up later in the next video.